Is this a clock, you ask? How does it tell the time? How does it work? I will tell you now. The number of hours since sunrise is shown on the silver and black disc at the top of the clock, and the number of minutes into the hour is shown by the scribe's pen. The movements of the clock are regulated by a most wonderful mechanism that sits in a tank inside the elephant's body, a perforated floating bowl. There is a small hole in the floating bowl that regulates the speed at which it sinks. As it slowly submerges over half an hour, it tugs via a system of pulleys, the scribe and his pen. When it is completely submerged, the bowl quickly tilts, sinks and triggers a more dramatic sequence of events. Inside the cupola at the top of the clock, a channel of balls is tilted so that a stopper is lifted to allow one to fall, hitting a fan that turns the phoenix. The ball then drops out of one of the falcon's beaks into the serpent's mouth. As the serpent falls, rotating around its pivot, the weight of the ball tugs a rope that resets the bowl back to the surface of the water. The ball drops again into a vase that triggers the mahout's mallet and hits a cymbal, which sounds the half hour. As the ball collects in a trough, the float begins to submerge again and the whole process repeats itself with subtle adjustments for the second half of the hour. This ingenious device is the work of Badi al-Zaman Abdul Ez ibn Ismail ibn al-Razaz al-Jazari, who was a Muslim engineer who lived north of Baghdad under the Ayyubi dynasty, shortly after Saladin the Magnificent. Al-Jazari built a large number of mechanical devices that revolutionized engineering. He described many of them in his book of knowledge of ingenious mechanical devices.